Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research, and this is your morning market alert for Friday, February 25th. Jen Amos is off today. It looks like stocks on Wall Street may get back in positive territory today after three days of declines. Oil prices seem to be stabilizing after the U.S., Saudi Arabia, and the International Energy Agency said they can compensate for any disruption of Libyan supplies. Before those assurances, light sweet crude had jumped above $100 a barrel for the first time since October of 2008 on concerns that the violence that cut Libya's output could spread to other parts of the region. Right now, crude is holding steady at around $98 a barrel. But even though it's back down from earlier highs, oil is still heading for its biggest weekly gain in two years. Now that the worries about higher oil prices seem to be easing a bit, the dollar is stabilizing against other major currencies after a big slide over the last three days. And U.S. investors are shifting their focus to the economy. This morning brought the latest reading on fourth quarter gross domestic product. And later, Reuters and the University of Michigan will release their gauge of consumer sentiment for February. On the corporate front, shares of Boeing are jumping nearly 5% in the pre-market. The U.S. Air Force awarded the company a $30 billion contract to build 179 aerial refueling tankers. The decision was a surprise, as most analysts expected Boeing's European rival EADS to win the contract. Among other stock winners this morning are several companies out with quarterly earnings. J.C. Penney is rising 2 percent after it beat estimates with its fourth quarter profit and announced a $900 million stock buyback plan. Tenet Healthcare is also set to open solidly higher after its adjusted earnings came in better than expected. Meanwhile, after Thursday's closing bell, American International Group posted a fourth quarter profit of more than $11 billion thanks to the sale of several businesses. AIG shares are getting 2% right now. Applied Materials, Autodesk, and DreamWorks Animation are also rising following strong results. And investment management firm BlackRock is jumping 3% after boosting its quarterly dividend. Finally, keep an eye on Salesforce.com. It's surging 10% despite a sharp decline in net income. The internet software company posted solid revenues and raised its sales outlook for the full fiscal year. Following the report, both FBR Capital and ISI Group boosted their price targets on the stock. That's the latest from Moist Research. I'll be back after the opening bell with all the economic data and market reaction.